bottles of beer on the wall, hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by tuning on into French Hoth Beer Reviews. Hello again. And welcome to French Hoth Beer Reviews. Oh. This guy over here is Jeff. I am Jeff. I'll be Scott. Tonight he is Scott. <laughs> Mr. Freeze has a, a bottle of beer from uh, Dog Fish Head. Out of Milton, Delaware. Yes, this is their 90 Minute Imperial IPA. We believe it's the same thing as their 90 Minute IPA that they did. No, it's called Imperial. Yeah, it's 9% it. continually hopped IPA. Powerful malt backbones. Yes, it stands up to the extreme hopping rate for a pungent but not crushing hot flavor. You just dropped a dime on it. Yep, on you, on your fork. Um, we like people to subscribe here. We're already there, huh? Yeah, we're already there. Jeff and I like to have a good time doing beer reviews. We try to keep it simple. What does it look like? What does it smell like? What does it taste like? This is a lot lighter looking actually than I thought. We it was don't get be. too fancy. We just say how it is. We kind of hang out. We sometimes go off on a tangent, but that's just our style of what we do for our videos. So if you like them, please. It's what we do in life. Actually. Subscribe down there. Hit the hop symbol. Hit the bell if you want to be notified when we do uh, live videos. When our videos get released. When do we release beer reviews? I believe it's uh, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 4 p.m. You are correct. You are correct. It's what I do. All right. Well, let's talk about this beer. What? What? Uh, what do you? This it's is, very light looking. It is very light looking. Uh, super, uh, super clear, filtered. That's, That's kind of a cool angle right there if you do that. Not what we yeah. do. Yeah. Do that. Do that. It's like it's a, see all the bubbles yeah, on top. That's there. awesome. Uh, tiny to, uh, to large. I, have, I just had a large one break. Tiny on. or large bubbles. And the head's kind of hanging out there. I haven't had this one in a while. In quite a while. Let's smell it. I did. Nothing crazy. I don't know if it's the same beer. It's not. Doesn't. It, it's not smelling quite like an IPA to me. Mm -mm. They got actually a little metal. Yeah. Mine Mine was, like, uh, this is bottled old. But this is old though. Is it? Eleven twenty eight. Not brandy, spanking new. No. But for dogfish head, it's probably kind of new. Nine percent alcohol. All right. Yeah. Definitely malty. Yeah, this is a malty one. That's why I'm, malt. that's how they get it to nine percent. Yeah. Well, but it's very clear. Yes. I still like looking. In the it's body. it's a malty it's a malty aroma. That's kind of all I get out of it. Ooh, I can take a picture of that. I'm not really picking out any kind of hop hop aromas from this. It almost smells like an amber ale, like a. What are you doing? Sorry. <laughs> uh, it kind of came out. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Want to drink uh, it? Let's drink this beer. All right. Because it, it's not doing much for aroma for me. Very malty. Uh, mm -hmm. Sweet. Yep. Not terrible. I don't. Re I don't remember this beer actually being as good as it is. If it's the same one, it's, it's lighter. Yeah, nine percent. It's pretty, pretty decent for nine percent. Multi. You're not getting much hop, hop flavor. Mm -hmm. you, you don't get hop aroma. You Any know. IBUs on this one? No. No. Or alpha acids, perhaps. God, it's just. It's it's pretty drinkable at nine percent, but it's it's sweet. sweet. It's sweet and malty. Um, I don't know how many of these I could like two or three. I'd probably be silly. No, just malt it out. Yeah, it's a good beer though. No, it's not bad. It's a good change from uh, the New England style IPAs. Yeah, but it's not. I wouldn't describe it as like a West Coast or 
no. standard old classic IPA either. No. It's it's very different. Um hard to score. Hard to very score hard to score, me. yeah. Uh because I do like the flavor of it, but and I do like the alcohol percentage. It's hidden hidden very well. Mm -hmm. I don't find it boozy at all. Nope. I know what I'm doing. I'm spinning the bottle cap. Oh no, you got a dogfish. Um three point nine. Yeah, me too. It's not quite a four. Not quite, because it doesn't have your your typical trademark IPA flavors for me. It right. It, the aromas aren't there. The hoppiness isn't there. It's all sugar, malts, like, I know exactly what you And mean. I think that's what they were going for, because it says it, it, not, a, not a crushing hot flavor. Mm. No, not at all, but um, I do want a hot flavor in my IPAs. 90 IBUs, according to... Uh, all right. Dog, uh, the untapped. Yeah. See, it doesn't taste even close to that. You me. checked it in. Nope. Purchased that Ladushi steak and ale. Uh oh. That means it was me. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> uh, 375, I gave it. All right, that's that's on par with your score. You didn't feel it was a four, just like you didn't right now. You scored a 3 9. Uh, three other people Blackstone Wolf, Tommy, Bear Guy 401. John and Johnny D. And John Devall. Yeah. So, uh, Blackstone and Wolf, 475. Wow, he loved wow. it. Almost gave it the five. Come on. Yeah. Uh, John Ramsey, five. Wow. Yeah. When was this? Oh, July, June 12th, 2015. Okay. Uh, 2017 for Blackstone Wolf. And what about Johnny Dybala? Johnny Dybala, May 11th, 2014, a three and a half. Okay. All right. Five years ago. Wow. Imagine that. I didn't even know on tap was five years ago. Okay, right. <laughs> All right. Uh, 375 to 4.5. Uh, th wow. 310,000 ratings. Okay. 4.07. We're right there. We're right, we're, we're right up there. That's crazy. That is a ton. <laughs> 307,000. Now, think, think about that and then take all the beer, all these beers that were drank and no one checked them in. Right. Or if, like, people had these multiple times and didn't check them in. Right. Millions of beers. Of, on the wall? It's good. It's a good tasting beer. Like if someone gave me this beer or if, or if you brewed this beer, I'd be like, damn, this is a really good beer. But it's independent craft beer. True craft. But I don't... There are ones I'm, I'm surprised no one's come, gone after them yet to get it. I like, want more hops. Yes. I want more hops in yep. this beer. Um, but again, it's very tasty. Uh, sweet, malty... Hides the alcohol well. If you don't like a huge hot bang on your beers, uh, you know, if you don't want that bitterness, this is a great beer for you to get. Yeah. Uh, a little, it's a little expensive, but um, yeah, it's gonna be what? It's gonna be five bucks a bottle, pretty close I to. I think it was three and change or yeah. something. Um, and Dogfish Head has the, has that crazy. Top on their bottle. Weird, you can't even use the bottles to uh, homebrew. Yeah, they they crown them out here, so when you push your press down, it just breaks the bottle. It, yeah, like... but um, yeah, they're always doing they're they're always playing around, doing crazy stuff with their beer, raisins and peaches and all kinds of shit. Pepper. Sometimes it works, and sometimes I just hate it. No, but raisin they the raisin the a tree a, yeah. a tree. Good, good for them for for, for, for attempting different things and, and trying to kind of push the envelope as to uh, flavors and styles. And again, good beer, it, not your typical IPA flavor though. So um, 
Yep, you know how we described it. If you think that would be something you would like to try, everyone's tastes Pretty are damn different. Sweet. We are just two guys who have drank a lot of beers, a lot of the same beers, and uh, this is our opinion. So. And we have a hop garden in front of us. We do. Let's uh, drink Cheers. this beer. 2019 Chugging Beer Reviews. You put that one down. That's what I do. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Have a great night. Hundreds of bottles of beer on the wall. Hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by tuning on into French Hawk.